Hello! Do you see how shiny my face is right now? It is so hot. It's like 80 something degrees outside. And inside, it's probably like 90. Oh, yeah, it's 95 according to the thermostat. Today, my friend Kelly came over to my house to get her hair done. Those of you who are following me already know I am a hairstylist. But right now I am in between salon jobs. I don't start at my new salon until next week. So I told her, you know what, come to my house. We can do your hair here. We'll just go, you know, get whatever supplies we need at the store. So she was starting out with medium brown, virgin, natural, uncolored, unprocessed hair. And she wanted to be blue. So I thought it was the perfect opportunity to vlog the process and do kind of like a vlog slash tutorial in one. Um, so I hope that you guys find this video interesting and a little bit helpful. Um, if you have any specific questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. So enjoy! Mm -hmm. Hi, Clover! Yay, Kelly is here! It's so funny, I woke up and my dad was like, oh, I thought that was yesterday. Mm-hmm! Oh. Clover, Clover! I didn't know, Bobby! Hi, cutie! Oh. So I'm here with my friend Kelly. She came to visit me. We're gonna do her hair today. We are gonna go blue. Looks, I'm so excited. It's really bad today. No, it's fine. Well, it's perfect. It's good that it's not washed because we're gonna bleach it. And if your hair was like freshly washed, your, it would like irritate your scalp a little. Oh, does so. it? See, I don't know these things. Exactly. This is why you're here. So it's good that it's a little dirty. Sweet. Um. So yeah, we're gonna lighten her hair. And I'm excited because her hair's all virgin. There's no color in it. It was really long. We cut it like super short yeah. and it shaved like in the back, the on side the sides. Yeah. So Yay. it'll, it should lighten nicely. I'm excited. I'm excited too. So we're at Cosmoprof. We need to get our supplies and then we're going to record the process. So we are getting ready to start. We have our lightener here. I'm gonna just use 10 volume. I don't wanna do anything too harsh on her hair. Foils, and then um, I have a toner, the developer for that, and then our blue color. We decided to get the Kenra one. I have not tried this before, so I don't know how it's gonna fade and how it'll last and all that, but We'll see. Are we shaving your the side? I was gonna ask you too. All right, because we'll it's overdue. After. I'm so glad I finished everything already. I didn't realize. So I just eyeball it. I like to do like a one to one and a half ratio. One part lightener, one and a half parts developer. But it doesn't have to be exact. I just kind of look at the consistency. That looks pretty good. In order to do blue hair, you need to lighten the hair first. Get it as light as possible, especially for blue. And I'm doing everything in foils. If I were to just put this like all over her hair, it wouldn't process as quickly. So I'm going and I'm taking really thin slices. You wanna make sure that you can see through the hair. If it's too thick and you can't see through it, the lightener is not gonna penetrate all the way through and fully saturate your piece. And then you're gonna have some pieces that aren't gonna lighten and it's gonna be all uneven. So I'm gonna put the foil down. Make sure you're fully saturating it. Kind of go back and forth, make sure it's all saturated. And up top, you can see I'm going up kind of high, but I'm not going all the way up to her scalp. If I were to go all the way from scalp to ends, the hair up at the very top would process quicker because she has heat coming from her scalp. So she would end up with hot roots. Her roots would be like white blonde and then the rest of the hair would be a little bit darker. So um, I wanna try to get this to be as even as possible. So I'm just leaving that hair out at the very top for now. 
So I have all of her longer pieces in foils. And all of this is pretty short. I think we're probably gonna trim it a little bit more anyway, and then she shaved on the side here. So I'm not gonna really worry about being too meticulous with these hairs. So this I'm just gonna kinda fully saturate with the lightener. These pieces in here are getting nice and blonde. So we wash out all of the foils. You can see we need to go over her root now. And she still needs to be like one or two levels lighter. So I'm gonna just kind of uh, comb it all the way through to the ends. Just cause we want to get it as light as possible. dry it'll actually look even lighter than this but it's very yellow so we need to pre-tone her hair if I were to just slap blue right on top of this yellow yellow and blue mix the other makes green so we want the blue to show up true to color and a nice pure blue we don't want it to be like teal or anything like that so we're going to I already shampooed her hair so I'm just gonna kind of towel dry it so it's not dripping wet so I'm literally just putting this toner all over her hair and this is a violet or purple based toner so it's not going to turn for her purple but it is going to cancel out the yellow so she'll just be not like she's probably not gonna be completely white but she'll be like a very very nice platinum blonde not you know a lot of these excess yellow tones anymore just massage it to make sure it's evenly distributed all right you can sit up a little bit and then this really only needs like 10 to 15 minutes to like fully process maybe even a little bit less I always just keep massaging it in the hair and I just watch it and uh, once it looks like it's good then I just rinse it out this probably feels kind of good too after you had that stuff on your head oh is it yeah, yeah. Starting to itch so bad, like mm -hmm. right at the end. Mm -hmm. And you can see, like, how nice and even it came out. It's so pretty. I'm so excited. So, yeah, you can see no more yellow, just a nice, beautiful, pearly blonde. All right, you can rinse this out now. Now we are going to put on the blue. This is just a direct deposit color, so you don't have to mix it with anything. You just squeeze it right out of the tube. I'm going to do the blue on her roots and on the parts where it's shaved. And then on her mid shaft and ends, we're going to do it slightly lighter. So I'm going to do the roots first and yeah. 
So for the color on her ends, I'm putting the blue color and then I'm adding a little bit of this purple conditioner with just a white conditioner. And I'm adding this to dilute the color a little bit. I'm so excited to see how it turns out. We're all done. Yes. Spin, spin, spin. Yes. Love it. By the way, the products that we did use, we purchased at Cosmoprof, which is a professional only store. So the products we use, you do need a license to purchase in the store. But if you do go to Sally's Beauty Supply, you can get the same stuff we got, not the same brand, but you can get similar things. So yeah, if you are not a professional, you can still do this process yourself at home, um, but just, you know, proceed with caution, of course. Normally I wouldn't recommend going from a brown to a super pale color like that in one sitting but again like i said because her hair was virgin i knew that it was healthy enough and it was going to lighten pretty easily without having to really like push it too far so take into consideration the condition of your hair also if you feel like your hair can't handle it spread this out lighten it a little bit over time you know do a process a week or so until you can get it light enough. Don't try to do it all in one night if your hair can't handle it. Um, I don't want people following any of my tutorials and then having their hair fall out and getting all upset with me. But I think that's it for this video. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're following me on my hair Instagram page. It's at styled by Sam Vey. That is my portfolio for all of my work. So if you want to see some more hair stuff that I'm doing, go follow me there, and I'll see you guys really soon in the next video. Bye.